Hi there, this video is uh, to show you how to recalibrate your controllers for the Atari 5200 console. I was having a problem that I noticed specifically in relation to Missile Command in which the bounding box on the screen, the amount you could move the controller left, right, up and down, was problematically miscalibrated. It seemed as though I could not ever reach the far right of my screen. So I went to Atari Age forums and asked a question about this and a lot of helpful people chimed in. Seems like this is a pretty common problem and I thought I'd make a quick video for anyone else out there who's having the problem. So essentially, the first thing you'll want to do is identify the problem and if your problem is like mine, as I said, it's that your cursor can't reach the sides of the screen. Missile Command seems to be the best game or one of the best games for testing this. So I wasn't, it wasn't centered correctly, nor was any of my various Atari 5200 controllers uh, able to reach the side of the screen on the right side specifically. Now it could be different depending on your controller or the calibration, so you're going to have to judge for yourself. Anyway, after identifying the problem, yes, I, everyone seemed to agree it was miscalibration. I opened up the unit, which is pretty simple. You don't need a special bit or screwdriver or anything. You just need a regular Phillips head screwdriver. I removed about seven screws from the bottom of the Atari. Uh, you are looking here at the top down version of the Atari with the lid removed now. And um, I had to figure out a way to, in order to calibrate the game without having to put it back together, my very, very rudimentary solution was I had never realized that the gate on the bottom of the control, excuse me, on the bottom of the cartridge will not allow you to access the board without wedging something in there. So I actually used a bamboo skewer, stuck it in there, and by doing that, if you can get it in there, it'll release the gate and you'll be able to insert a cartridge and allow the board to be exposed and reach the cartridge slot. So. I will show you the final results in a moment, but uh, the most important thing of the, vis the video here is that you need to know the calibration is, I believe it is called a pot, according to our Atari Age Forum, and the one that my finger is pointing at right there, that guy, bottom right corner, if you're looking at a top-down view, that little knobby knob right there, and again, I think it's called a pot based on what people were telling me on the forum, but uh, didn't take my word for it, no expert here just learning and sharing. So all it took was getting the game up and running, got my controller plugged in, got a variety of controllers here, all of which I've repaired with help of Atari Age Forum or various other places, and um, got a controller plugged in, got the game in here, yeah, using that bamboo skewer, got the game in there, and uh, I'll do that in a moment. And then simply very light adjustments to this using a flathead screwdriver turning it left and right there's a slot even in the top apparently for this exact purpose within a matter of seconds I had my controller recalibrated, recentered, and able to reach all edges of the bounding box on the screen uh, and I was once again able to play games like Missile Command accurately and I did seem to notice some improved control in other games such as Pac-Man when I need to round corners and previously I'd been having some trouble and it seemed like the controller wasn't recognizing it correctly. And uh, now it does seem to be functioning better. So I hope this uh, video is helpful to you. I'll leave you with a shot of my dog and a shot of Missile Command up and running. So as you can see, now that we've finished and fixed the problem, as you can see, I am able to reach all sides of the screen. Complete ability to stop the missiles if I was playing, which I'm not, just filming, and I only have a limited number of hands, so as you can see here I'm doing terribly, but the most important thing is I can reach over here, city number six on the far right used to always get destroyed, now in a typical game I can defend it. Thanks to Atari Age for your help with the suggestions and the guidance of how to fix this problem, and I hope uh, you can benefit from this video. Thanks.